Okay guys, just a quick one. Uh, just while I'm doing my valves, uh, I just want to show you how to replace the fuel screen that sits in here. So you might find it easier to do if you take this um, side panel off. Uh, get that air sensor thing out of the way. And so to do that, you just squeeze that quick release and lots of fuel will piss everywhere. So that one there, give it a squeeze and a pull. Squeeze and pull. Damn it. Okay, I really expected fuel to piss everywhere. So, see that tiny little thing there? That's the fuel screen. So just pull it out with something and put the new one in. Okay, so there's the fuel screen. Just damaged it taking it out, but it looks a little bit dirty. Dirty? Yeah, some dirt in there. Me. Oops. And here's the new one, nice and clean. And there's the part number. So that just goes inside here. You just poke it in, and then put the uh, quick release thing back together. And that's you. Okay, so that's it in. You got to press it in quite firmly. It, it doesn't kind of click, but it, it does squeeze into place. And then just do these again. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. So just make sure that clicks. And I want to put some foam or tape on there because common common thing that does rub through it's rubbing slightly but it's been doing it for ages so um, so that's you yeah they're, they're supposed to be replaced every 6,000 miles or something like that um, but if you're having problems uh, running like shit spluttering and stuff uh, when you're on full power um, then yeah you might want to uh, change the fuel screen uh, if it's still a bit shitty then it's the uh, uh, fuel filters in the tank, but that's a, a bit more of a tricky job. Uh, gotta get the tank flipped up and get the shit out of there and whatever else is in there. Cobwebs. Fucking cobwebs. So, um, yeah, if you found my video useful, please like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, cheers.